Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Tough Car Channel, and today's contestant is the Oldsmobile 98 Regency. This is on. Uh, this is from the same modification that brought the Olds Delta 88. Uh, and in real life, these cars were very similar. How? Pretty much from the rear axle forward, they were very similar cars from the rear axle back, but they were also on different platforms. One car was on GM's B-body platform, which is, the, I believe, the full-size platform, which is the Regency. The other one was on the C-body platform, which is a little bit of a smaller car. Uh, however, a lot of the things are the same. When we get in this, we'll see the same interior, uh, same engines available. But since it is such a different car, and since I also took the Junkyard uh, Regency on the track, I figured I had to go ahead and give the non-junky, really nice driving one a shot at the track. So, let's hop in this car and get the show on the road. Okay, then, we are in the 98 Regency. Nice place to be. Very 1980s. Uh, little funky smell. Kind of smells like maybe an old person died in the back. I don't know. Don't know about that, but... Let's go ahead, rev the nuts off this V8. Sure, it's about the most action it's seen it's all, all its life. Throw it in gear. Oh, excuse me, and away we go. A little bit of uh, the tail slide already. Oh, shit, come on. Over the first jump. Car just floating over these big bumps. There we go, and... Oh, shit! Two-wheel, two-wheel, two-wheel! Alright, we got it. Okay, there's our rocks, which I just hit. Surprised I didn't knock the radiator out, radiator out on one of those. Alright. Trying not to say alright. I noticed in some of my videos, I say alright, like, almost incessantly. It's like, come on. Come on, Rob, find something else to say, for crying out loud. So... Oh, God. It's not like I'm fucking Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Oh, shit! Coming up to the Widowmaker. Oh, and we're in trouble. Oh, fuck. That must have caught the bumper. All right, okay. I almost said all right again. We're over the jump, coming into the east corners here. The turnaround. Oh, we're through. This car compared to the Delta does, is not, it's actually more tail happy. I was gonna say it's not as docile. The 88 wasn't really that docile. It was just like it doesn't didn't want to do shit. Alright. So. Okay. About to cross the finish line. Oh, don't hit that shit. One lap down. Coming on the first jump. We got air. The car survived. Like I had any doubts. Coming up the Widowmaker. Oh, fuck. There we go. Second jump. Ooh. Ooh, fucking hell. That's one way to, ha to end your day very badly. Oh, shit. I got it. I got this shit. I got it. There we go. Oh, maybe I don't. Yeah, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't fucking know. Woo! Oh! <laughs> Spun through the Widowmaker. Alright. Car keeps up like this. We will make the four and two thirds lap rating. It's just going to be very interesting. Oh, shit. There goes the radiator. 
We bought we must have bottomed out hard enough that it damaged it. Fuck. Alright. Well, that was bound to happen at some point. Oh! We got this shit. We got it. We got it. Coming up to the start-finish line. Alright. I believe that was two laps down, so we're on lap three now. Woohoo! Ooh, yeah, that was a that was a good jump. That's how you jump a car. <laughs> All right, through the Widowmaker to the second jump. Start to cut in a little. Oh, fucking hell! That was a hard landing. We're all right, though. We're all right. Oh, fuck. Holding the wheel straight. It's not pulling, so we're okay. Coming up to the Widowmaker. And we're spinning. Holy hell. <laughs> this car is getting beat up. So we're almost done with lap three. Let's go ahead and pull off and see what has happened to this car. Oh shit. There you go. All right. And we're parked. Let's go ahead, hop out and see what the hell is going on with this thing. We are outside of the car and overall it doesn't look too bad. The front end is a little janked up. That's how we most likely lost the radiator. Suspension on this side is is given up. The top is pointed in on, on that side. Uh, windshield shattered. Hood's fucked up. I think the car, the suspension is actually messed up. That or the car actually got tweaked pretty good. Uh, that door is screwed up, but... Other than that, the car looks to be in pretty good shape. So, let's get back in it and keep on going. Alright! One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to pop it in gear and haul some ass, because that was a shitty-ass pun. So, three laps down, so we are about a lap off of the Delta. Okay, doing good through the Widowmaker, coming up to our second jump. Turning in. That's most likely what's causing that uh, corner to go, is because it's taking so much of the impact. Oh, shit. But we are now in front of, I believe it was the Hirochi Start and a Ford LTD. Those are both at three and a half. We just passed that. So we are now chasing down the sister car, the Delta 88. As we come into the Widowmaker, at three and two thirds laps, we're now under a lap away from it. Can our battered and bruised olds make it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. We keep spinning out like that. We actually might. Oh, shit. Those are rocks. Actually, I just noticed this has a, like a two-to-one thing. Oh, the coolant just went, so we most likely will not make it. All right, because we just finished lap four. Oh. 
Well, we haven't lost anything else yet. It's just saying the coolant's overheating, so. But of course, there's almost no coolant left in the system. Well, there went the head gasket. I spoke a little too soon. Oh shit. Piston rings and the head gasket. No. Well, the oil's not over and shit. Come on, don't cut. You don't want to go down like this. You don't want to go down like this. Come on. I can't see anything. We're turning in. And I fucked it up. We tied. Holy fuck. And the motor went when we flipped. We have tied the Delta 88 and we did it in spectacular fashion. And my head has gone through the fucking roof. All right, let's see if the rescue teams can dislodge my head from being a pe member of the roof and we can find out what the hell has happened to our 98. Well, you can't say that this old girl gave it its best shot. We have tied the Delta. Because the Delta died right over there. We actually kind of half beat out the Delta, but it's going to get the same rating. So it has tied the Delta. And oh my gosh, this thing is a mess. It is just an absolute fucking mess. Look at this wheel, dude. And it's still attached to the steering. So if the motor was not blown, theoretically this car would have still drove. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I mean, oh, I mean the roof collapsed like no fucking tomorrow. But, I mean, other than that, that and the suspension being fucked up and the obvious thing, the motor is blown. This car could have easily kept on going and it would have easily beat the Delta. But the motor was gone and I couldn't see shit, so I cut in too early. Oops. Uh, I, I was either going to cut in too early or I was not going to know what the fuck I was doing. So, But, anyway, let's go ahead and pop into overview, even though we already know we tied the Delta. Got a nice look at where the car is sitting on the track, show the leaderboard, and call it a video. So, to overhead view. We are back, and we're in overhead view. By now, start finish lines here. This is our lovely uh, track. And here is the dead 98 Regency. And again, holy hell, this car, that car put up a hell of a fight, especially there at the end. And it was fighting me, too. It's like every other turn, hey, I want to try to spin out. Woo! So eventually bottoming out and uh, taking out the radiator, it got it about another lap or so before the car finally gave up the ghost. So actually almost two laps because I believe the radiator went right around here. Like, coming off of this jump was where the radiator went? It was either right here or it was going this way. It was like this section of track, if I remember right. But anyway, uh, so, tied for first place is the Oldsmobile Delta 88 and the Oldsmobile 98 Regency at four and two-thirds lap completed. Followed by the Hirochi Start and Ford LTD, tied at three and a half laps completed. And in last place on our modded car leaderboard is the ETK 4000-6000 series with one and three quarters laps completed. Damn, that was a hair-raising episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please like, please subscribe, all that good shit. Until next time, have a good one.